for your patience. Uh, we're really pleased to have Congressman Crowley here with us. Uh, I'm going to give a very, very brief introduction so he can make uh, his remarks. But let me just point out, uh, Congressman Crowley of our 7th District, uh, he's a key figure on the House Ways and Means Committee. It's usually preceded by the powerful uh, Ways and Means <laughs> Committee. He has senior leadership roles in the Democratic Caucus in the House. He's been an extraordinary supporter, not only of Einstein in particular, but of health and education issues for all of our community. Uh, an example of this was his presence here for a town hall meeting we had with our student association. And that was actually one of the nights, I think, of one of the Obama-McCain debates. And your comments were appreciated. Now, I have to say that I had invited Congressman Crowley to get a white coat as part of our ceremony for our new students, our first year class. We had an on becoming a physician ceremony. And he couldn't make it because it was August 29th and he was otherwise occupied in Denver at uh, the Democratic National Convention. Uh, so we, we gave him a pass, but it's actually in some ways even more appropriate that we're doing this ceremony here today at this symposium in this wonderful new building, bridging the translational divides. It's all about making the work that's done here by our scientists, our researchers, really have an impact on health in the community. And that's completely consonant with your own goals, I know. Now, when uh, we personally put our white coats on each of our new physicians, we tell them two things. On the one hand, you know, don't get too swell-headed. This doesn't, you know, they just graduated college. It doesn't make them a real physician immediately. But on the other hand, it really expresses our hopes for their future delivery of becoming leaders in academic medicine, of improving healthcare, research, etc. So no, no pressure, but as we put this uh, white coat on you, our, our hopes for you uh, are really that as you go back into Congress, you're going to make a huge impact and difference, not only in support for research, but in our health care system, and really make us all proud of our Congressman Crowley. And here, by the way, our new uh, logo. And uh, Ms. Uh, Erquides Hernandez said we're obsessed with genetics. So here is, in fact, the logo with the double helix uh, stairs. <laughs> but the fact is that it's also the E for Einstein. And it's also about achievement and going higher. And that is our shared hope for the Bronx and for the nation as a whole. So. Thank you, Dean, very much. As you can see, this is the reason why I'm not a doctor. Because I can never fit in the uniform. So. You make the hospital. <laughs> Let me, um, I also want to announce uh, that uh, Lenny Carroll has agreed to be my first patient. So Lenny, <laughs> you're, you're very welcome to the Chamber of Commerce. Thanks we'll be, a lot, pal. It's uh, my first dissecting class, so I hope I get this right. So thank you very much. Great, I have to let you know I didn't do too well on a frog. So uh, I'm hoping you'll be, you'll be a little easier for me. But uh, thank you very much, Dean. Thank you for, uh, once again, a warm reception here at Einstein. And uh, thank you for all that you do. Congratulations on your clinical research grant uh, and uh, what you do, or what you're doing to really make that, I won't say divide, but you know, uh, fill in the gaps uh, in terms of research and what you do here at Einstein in terms of finding, you know, whether it's new cures or breakthroughs in science and making them practical and how we can use them uh, not only here in the Bronx and the city, but uh, throughout our country and throughout the world as well. I have tremendous respect for, the, for your dean and for this institution, and I think it's reflected in terms of your, your, your prominence, uh, not only in New York City, but throughout our nation by this new facility as well. And you're really making a statement about the advancement of Einstein and where you wanted to go, where you see it going, and I want to be a part of that with you. This is a very, 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 if not, I won't say the most because I get in trouble, but it's a critical institution. Uh, for my district. I don't have anything else like this institution in my district. Uh, the seventh CD, uh, quite frankly, uh, there are only two other institutions of higher education in my district. One is uh, Fort Schuyler uh, here in the Bronx. The other is in Queens. So uh, when you think about that, we have a couple of annexes, I should say, but not to get Mercy or College of New Rochelle mad at me, but, uh, but this really is a, a landmark 
for my district. So we want to be your, your eyes and ears in Washington, and we want to we perform for you. We want to come through for you as well. I am on the Committee of Jurisdiction, the powerful, we like to say the almighty powerful Ways and Means Committee. <laughs> There are a couple other adjectives to describe it, and I'm, I'm working on some of them. Some I have to have some help with, if you don't mind. They're, they're really, really super duper. Uh, but it is a very, very important committee as it pertains to health care and Medicare, uh, and as we move forward, uh, also uh, finding the ways and means for appropriations uh, so that when we uh, work with our appropriating colleagues that they can uh, look at the issues that, and, and the uh, institutions that we care about as members of the Ways and Means Committee and create that, that partnership between the appropriators and the Ways and Means members uh, to see to it that Einstein isn't just not forgotten, but that Einstein is, is prominently on the map uh, when it comes time for uh, appropriations. So I thank you again. Um, I'm not taking this off, so I'll be, <laughs> you know, I hope to be stopped on the way out. Doctor, I have a sore throat. Can you help me with that? <laughs> I'll just tell them what my wife says as a nurse, rinse with salt water. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, all right guys, everybody looking here? Okay, all right. Okay, give me another one. Yep. And one more.